Run, guys. Run. Echo Outdoors is in the house. All right, guys, 52 Farrod fire time. We are here today with a special guest. His name is Ed. He's from Illinois. He's a really good friend of mine, known him for several years. He's got some great skills as an outdoorsman and a woodsman, um, and he has got one heck of a sense of humor, too. So I think you guys are really going to enjoy today. And uh, without further ado, Ed, my friend, take it over. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Um, just kind of out here, filling around in the backyard. I'm gonna Wait a minute. What the? What the heck? What the crap? This isn't my. This isn't my channel. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. God. Gosh dang it. This is Feral Woodcraft. This is. Oh, Joe. Oh, man. I'm on the wrong. Oh, Joe. Shoot. All right. Uh, about a week ago, Joe from here at uh, Farrow Woodcraft asked me to do a video for one, do a video for his uh, 52 Ferro Rod Fire series. And of course, it's towards the end of the series. He's been doing this for almost a year now. So I told him I didn't really know about it because he's used like every tinder known to man. And I didn't know what to do it on, but it looks like. Looks like he got me. Here I am on Ferro Woodcraft. Gonna try to do a 52 Ferro Rod Fire episode. So, well, hey everybody. My name's Ed uh, from Echo Outdoors. Uh, today, here I am on Ferro Woodcraft, Joe's channel. I'm going to do um, one of the 52 Ferro Rod Fire episodes. I, uh, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do it on or what I'm gonna use. Um, hmm, Joe kind of suckered me here, probably because he doesn't know what to do it on either. He's running out of ideas because he's used everything. So now I gotta try to figure out something to use to do this with. So, hmm. Let's see. I'm going to have to think here for a minute. I'm going to have to try to find something interesting. Hang tight for a minute. Let me see what I can figure out. All right, guys. Kind of out here walking around. Trying to figure out something I could use as tinder to start a fire with a ferro rod. Joe asked me, he said, uh, use something maybe that's native to your area that I haven't done a video on. Joe, that's a tough one, man. Something native to my area that, that you haven't already done a video on. What am I gonna, what am I gonna, what am I gonna, wait a minute. You guys see what I see? Hang on a minute, I got an idea. We'll, we might try something different here. Hang on, hang with me for a second. Okay, I'm back. Um, so like I said, here I am, Ed, uh, doing one of Joe's 52 ferro rod fire videos. I don't, I don't really know what to use, because like I said, he's pretty much used everything, so I... Uh, I found something, I'm gonna try it. Um, corn, corn, uh, corn leaves. 
and uh, like shavings and stuff off corn stalks, like uh, the leaves off the ears of corn. Might work. Dry. Should work, right? I also found a little bit of uh, this uh, corn silk. It's all dried up, dried up corn silk. And yeah, we'll try it, right? Might as well. I don't know what else to do it on. So, uh, I live in Illinois, for those of you that don't know. Southern part of Illinois. Corn, I have to apologize, my dogs are barking. Hopefully it's not too loud. But, um, we have uh, an abundance of corn. Cornfields around here, you really, you don't have to go too far to run into a cornfield around here. So, um, this time of year, it's, you know, pretty available. Uh, it's not going to be something you're going to find all year long obviously and some other states that i've been to and i've lived in i noticed that uh in the fall as soon as they as soon as they cut the corn uh, shortly thereafter they'll disc it under so not a lot of people are gonna gonna have this around but it's something different um it's kind of something outside the norm uh you're obviously not gonna find it in the middle of the woods but you know say you're just out for a day hike or you know something like here in illinois or you know, one of these big corn-fed states, um, you need something quick. I mean, this would probably work. I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to build a full-fledged fire. It's kind of windy here. I don't know if you can hear it on the camera there. Um, it's kind of windy. A lot of stuff's dry. We're going through, uh, it's, let's see what day is it. It's February 8th, uh, and it's like 50 degrees today. So we're going through kind of a, everything's kind of dried out. Um, but the grounds are all muddy and wet. So that was another reason why I picked this. Um, if you ever look at a, at a cut cornfield, you'll notice a lot of the stalks are, you know, maybe 12 inches, some more, some less. And then also you'll find big piles of this kind of stuff laying all over the field. So if, you know, if something like this, uh, and it hasn't rained in a few days, and but the ground's kind of muddy and soggy, you know, you're going through that uh, midwinter or early spring thaw out, um, you can always find this stuff uh, dry, dry tinder here, because it's up off the ground and it's away from all that moisture. So anyway, um, let me find somewhere out of the wind here. Uh, let me throw a ferro rod on this and see if we can uh, see if we can get it to spark up. So hang on a second, give me a minute. All right, folks, I had to find a little spot here. It's kind of tucked away so I can get out of the wind. I don't want this blowing all over the place. Um, like I said, I'm not going to do a full-fledged fire with it. Um, I don't want to go causing a mess out here. I don't really feel like chasing embers all over the place. So, uh, I'm going to out here. Actually, first, uh, first I'm going to do, uh, hopefully you guys can see this pretty good. I'm going to try this, uh, corn soak. Feels kind of dry. Um, you're not going to find a lot of this out in the cornfield, but little pieces here and there. You can make a nice little ball. It'll probably, I think it'll take a spark. So let's see if, we can, see if we can get this where you can see it here. Right, let's try this. There we go. Nope. Started to. There we go. Nope. It wants to. It'll start burning, but then it goes out. She's smoldering, but she don't want to burn. Hmm. I would have thought this would have done a lot better. Yeah, it wants to. 
Nope. I guess I don't want to. Nope. Okay. Well, yeah, now we know. It might work sometimes. Might not. All right, so let's try this stuff here. This is, uh, I'm not going to use so much here. Nothing big. Like I said, this just leaves off uh, the ears of corn. It's kind of falling down, falling to the ground. Um, from when they picked it over the fall. I'm just going to take this and kind of, kind of wad it up a little bit, not, not a whole bunch. I didn't really do much processing to it because as you can see, it's already pretty, pretty thin and, um, you know, ready to go. So you don't have to do much to it, I wouldn't think. We'll see what this little wad will do here. There it goes. It's pretty easy. See how long she burns. It doesn't burn real long. Kind of expected that. How thin and, and dry it is. But uh try a little bigger piece here. This will probably burn a little bit longer. One spark. He's burning. Well, that's not too bad. You got some uh, nice small pencil lead size uh, sticks that are good and dry. You could probably, probably get a good fire going with that. I'm going to do another video and see if I can actually make a fire. See if it burns long enough. To uh, actually get your uh, small kindling going. Takes a spark real well from the ferro rod. So, I'll give her a thumbs up. I think it'll work. Hang on a minute, guys. <laughs> well, there you have it, guys. Uh, corn. Uh, leaves off the ears of corn. Um, some peelings off the corn stalks. That corn silk didn't go as good as I thought it would. I thought that would take off pretty good, but it didn't. Um, it seemed pretty dry and, and fibrous, but I guess it's just not really not really fibrable, I guess. The leaves did real good. The, uh, you know, a little bit I pulled off the uh, corn stalks themselves did pretty good. So, I'd, I'd give it a success. Like I said, it's not something you're going to find all the time, but... Uh, you know, say you're out and about and you're, you're somewhere around a cornfield and, you know, you got some tenders on you or you don't want to waste what you got. You know, you got plenty of corn. You could always use that stuff. Um, I don't know. Take it for what it's worth. You know, if you guys want to use it, go ahead. Um, I want to thank Joe uh, for having me on his channel here. Uh, I feel kind of privileged he asked me to do this, even though I was kind of joking around at the beginning i gotta give him a hard time you know how it is but uh makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside you know that he would ask me to uh do a video on his channel it's kind of an honor but uh so thanks joe i appreciate it man uh sorry it wasn't anything super cool um you know like i said you've kind of you've kind of already done everything man I, i've run out of ideas so i kind of i had to dig deep for that one um it's about all i could think of right off hand so um, I hope you guys enjoyed it um, watching corn burn I mean it's not really exciting but um, maybe it's something you can use I hope I gave somebody some ideas or something if not it was just it was fun shooting this video uh, like I said I want to thank Joe again I'll see you guys 
later, but not here. This is Joe's channel. I'm done, Joe. I'm done. I'm not doing all your work for you anymore. I'm going back to my house. I'm going back to my channel. I'm going to do my videos. Don't make me do your work anymore. Done. That's it. I help one time. That's it. I'm not carrying you anymore. I'm out of here. Going back to my channel. See you guys later.